What's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Excited for another episode of HLX 360. And today, I'm teaching a great goalie drill that I call tennis ball boxing. So this is a fantastic drill that works on bottom hand technique. And bottom hand technique is something I talk a lot about in the goalie position, where we're using the bottom hand of our stick, in this case, the left hand of our stick, to drive to the ball. A lot of coaches talk about that top hand punch to get to the ball. Well, this drill is replicating the opposite. It's the bottom hand punch to the ball. So tennis ball boxing really focuses on the bottom hand drive. And why we think it's so important to drive our bottom hand to the ball is that no matter where that shot location is, we're gonna have square hips. Both of our hips are gonna be pointing upfield, which means our chest is behind the ball, our body is behind the ball on the case that we miss it, and we're in an optimal athletic stance with our hips upfield. This will allow us to finish with horizontal hands. A bottom hand drive leads to horizontal hands, which again, keeps our body and our hips square behind the ball, and it will also prevent rebounds and help us control shots. Another great aspect of tennis ball boxing is it forces our hands out and away. We don't wanna meet the ball with alligator arms, we want to punch our hands out and away. And of course, we always need to have explosive footwork. So this is how this drill works. It's called tennis ball boxing. And you'll have your goalie in the cage with no stick. Notice that his hands are as if he were holding a stick. And the coach here is just off camera, but he's shooting tennis balls, typically off hip, sometimes stick side hip. But what we're seeing here is our goalie is punching his bottom hand to the ball, like he's boxing, like he's literally punching the tennis ball with his bottom hand. This is a great example here. We're replicating an offside hip shot. And what we can see is that first and foremost, our hips are always upfield. So if we pretend we have a stick here, Our hips are upfield, so our body is behind the ball. This is a great job from our goalie here. This is in direct opposition to opening our hips sideways and pulling our bottom hand up. We wanna be punching our bottom hand out and away like we do here, which keeps our hips upfield. Again, we have horizontal hands, a horizontal finish, which will prevent rebound control which is what we're looking for. This is a great job by our goalie here, punching with his bottom hand, keeping his hips upfield, a horizontal stick, and look at his footwork, good. Good explosive footwork here, bringing both legs to the ball. Really nice job here from our goaltender. Bottom hand punch, hips upfield, horizontal hands, explosive footwork. Notice how our goalie is punching with his bottom hand and his hips are coming with him and we're not meeting the ball inside. We're really punching that bottom hand out. I love this bottom hand punch. Hands out and away, explosive footwork, hips up field. That's what's most important here. Getting our stance, punch that bottom hand. Our hips are up field. This is a great exercise to work on that bottom hand punch. So again, to review tennis ball boxing, uh, it's a great drill to work on that bottom hand drive. Getting our bottom hand to lead the stick will keep our hips square upfield, keeps our body behind the ball, it keeps us in an optimal athletic stance. This can allow us to finish with horizontal hands, keeping a horizontal stick to prevent rebounds, and to, most importantly, again, keep our body behind the ball. We want to get our hands out and away, so we're punching our hands out, with explosive footwork. So this is tennis ball boxing. It's a great goalie drill that I highly suggest. Watch how the goalie punches his bottom hand to the ball, finishing with his stick horizontal and controlling the rebound.